Good evening, everyone. Well, we're preparing to wrap up another busy day in Scotland. I think we got a lot done. We have a lot of good substantive meetings. And with my fellow leaders, and most of all, it was critically important for the United States to be here. At COP26, uh, back in the Paris Agreement, raising domestic climate ambitions and demonstrating a commitment to support the rest of the world, particularly those countries that are on the front lines of the climate crisis. Today, today I spoke with leaders of forested nations, island nations, developing countries. My message to them was the United States is going to be their partner as we meet this climate crisis. And I want to thank the United Kingdom and Prime Minister Johnson for hosting us, uh, hosting the world at a critical moment, as well as I met with Prince Charles, who's put together a very significant operation over the last uh, six, seven years of trying to bring in the private sector and to, to work on a number of these issues. Glasgow must start, uh, be the start, as I've, you, I, you're tired of hearing me say it, but a decisive decade of action so we can keep the limit of 1.5 degrees within the reach of us and the rest of the world. We have to keep accelerating our progress. Today's agreement by more than 100 countries, representing 85 percent of the world's forest, to halt and reverse deforestation by 2030 is a great example great example of the kind of ambition we need, and the United States is proud, proud to have initiated and supported it. For our part, the United States is going to keep raising the ambition and delivering the goal that we are reducing U.S. emissions by 50 to 52 percent, as Secretary Kerry's talked about, uh, from the 2005 levels by 2030. This decade, we have to make significant progress. And by the way, I might note parenthetically, I can't think of any two days or more has been accomplished uh, dealing with climate than these two days.